Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Alright, before I forget, we've got a Pika, and we've got a Psyka. So let's Pika it up, because it's kind of the order that we've got things here. And, uh-oh! Yo, Mint, I was sent to find you! I was busy while you were fighting against the members of Team GR. I stuck aboard their airship and took back some stolen cards. Yes! The cards have been returned to their owners in the island's clubs. Yes! That means that what we can do now is go back to other clubs and battle people that once had decks but were stolen, and now they got their decks back. But I'm going to be going back to the clubs individually anyway later on. You'll, you'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to clear them out a little bit later. I also managed to snatch a few booster packs while I was there. Here, this Lost Isle booster pack has your name on it. And there's the boyfriends. Uh, hmm. Nothing really new. <laughs> the airship that flies to GR Island is finally ready to board. You gotta go. Be careful. It's enemy territory out there. I'm going to stick around this island and collect some more cards. My deck needs a lot of work before I'm ready to travel. I'll see you later, Mint. Okay. No duel. We're we're good. We're good. Oh, maybe we should check to see if there's any different dialogue. And uh, we got the lyrics before. Uh, no, same. I just thought maybe because I defeated them. An informant the Team GR was undercover in this goop hall. To think that such a vile person was spying on everyone. I made up my mind. I'm going to GR Island! But their Pokemon cards are so much stronger than mine. I guess he's done being a hack kid and he's more back to being a card kid. But yeah, okay. So there was a little bit of different dialogue going on there. But anyway, um, I guess I'll flop on over to Mason Laboratory as well. Oh man, I have news! It seems Team GR is using a new kind of card. Dark Evolution cards. For example, Dark Charmeleon is a Dark Evolution of Charmander. Basic Pokemon can evolve into either their normal or dark versions. There are even stage 2 Dark Evolutions out there. Remember though, that Dark Pokemon can only evolve by Dark, Poke dark Evolution. Well, except for the basics. You just kind of said that. Be careful! Make sure your evolution cards are compatible with one another. Uh, Team GR is using a new kind of card. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> just wanted to see if he had something different, but I wasn't expecting that much. Airport time! Yeah, that's a GR coin, isn't it? Ah, you're so lucky. Wish I had a GR coin, too. I'll just go battle GR members. And... Oh, oh, wait, I... I knocked them out, didn't I? Well, you're stuck here, but at least you found out how to get to the island, right? <laughs> oh, you have a fully assembled GR coin. In that case, Kotaku GR number 5 about your travel conditions. <laughs> Gotta get a ticket, I guess. Take a look at this statue. It's a bust of a King Velocinia. Same thing, okay. Oh my, that's a full GR coin. Alright. Great, I'll allow you free passage to GR Island. Follow me. Alright. Hey, you're a very GR guy, you're kinda nice. This airship will take us to GR Island. We'll leave immediately. I hope you've made your preparations already. Let's go! Woo! Well, okay, you weren't that nice over at the Pokemon Dome. Alright, we're off! And by the way, you can skip this cutscene, but I'll show it back and forth, you know, the, at least once, basically. But along the way here, since it takes a while, I might as well mention this. In that, you know how I collected the GR coin pieces basically in order, starting with GR number one, going to GR number two, GR number three, and GR number four? Well, you can do those all in any sort of order that you please. It all depends on, like, what you're feeling and what you want to do, basically. I, it, it, they're all uh, roughly around the same difficulty, I would say, but if you're having difficulties with any particular one, you could leave the two club travel thing, uh, you know, like, because, you know, these, th those, like, self-contained stories between two clubs, and if you're having trouble with those two clubs, you can go to another set of two clubs and try and clear them out, and, yeah, once you get more cards and stuff like that and bolster your deck, you'll have an easier time. Uh, but I just kind of went through them in order because I'm pretty experienced in the game, so I was just able to sweep them for the most part. <laughs> You're free to do as you please. Well, go on. If you feel like returning to your island, come and talk to me. Okay, but not now. <laughs> so we made it into enemy territory. <laughs> 
our airship flies freely between this island and your home island. We click GRNR5 to arrange travel plans. Oh, can I talk to the... Oh, I can this time. It's a... Oh. It's just kind of the same thing as before. <laughs> you're pretty young compared to the others usually a fl fly here. Since you made it to this island, you must be a good card fighter. Hmm. Hmm. Did you hear that some kid fought their way here to GR Island? <laughs> It's you, and it's not over yet. Hear this! We're going to defeat you yet! Why don't you battle me now, girl? Huh? Huh, girl? Yeah, that's, that's why I said girl. <laughs> Alright, so we got ourselves the game center. We got ourselves the grass fortress. We got ourselves a sealed fortress. You can try and look around here. I mean, well, you can, but you can't click on things that have the X because they are not unlocked to you just yet. So what do you say we just go ahead and head on over to the Grass Fortress to keep things nice and simple. Oh jeez! Whoa, you! Get over here! Oh, you! You're not a member of Team GR. It also seems you're in the possession of Pokemon cards too. That's good. I love to see your play style. Is it possible that you could oust my dark Pokemon? Let's do all mint. Start the sixth prize battle. And what are you using Ronald's theme song for? Ronald GRX there? What the? Did you steal. Did you kill Ronald and steal his cards? And his theme song? You'll pay for this, GRX! <laughs> He's got nothing. <laughs> I shuffle again, so it's for once! I'm not the one that has nothing. He is the one that has nothing. Oh shoot, I, I forgot to switch to my one of my main decks. Well, let's hope this goes well. <laughs> yeah, it should be okay. I think it was better balanced than the other starter decks IMO anyway, so we'll see how things flop out of here. Oh no, Rattata's out versus my Abra. It's got the resistance. I mean I could do paralysis dealios, but uh, I can do a free retreat, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and give a little nibble from one mouse to another, and we shall see. Uh oh, recycle energy. If that goes to the discard, it can go right back to the hand. So he's gonna always have some sort of energy. So it's kind of a handy little, little energy card there. Yeah, anyway. So this is a little quick attack. Not going to stand the chance against my Thunder Jolt though, but I may take 10 damage. I did not, so I'm pleased with this. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that. Oh, that's right, it's when you get tailed. Oh shoot, poofers, I did take damage. <laughs> I clicked through it too quickly. <laughs> yeah, tails to negative side. Why did I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you didn't, okay. Um, what? Wait, can I just like potentially beat you really quickly and <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's that seems possible um just to just to make sure i got my bruiser just safe to go here i'm gonna kind of waste an energy card so to speak although it's technically not a waste if i'm yeah if i'm doing well here so you know if i'm in good position to save my pika pika we can uh, just keep things going here and prevent that r random damage of uh, the knockout variety. Because that could cause me a little ire of my dex variety. Because I've only got the Abras after the Pikachu, so at least as of right now. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get them powered up. And uh, it looks like I, uh, I kind of won here. <laughs> Sorry there, GRX, but uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna have to call this a game here. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out so well, considering I had the Avras to start out with and they have low HP, and then I got the Pika, and then I could free switch. <laughs> beat me so easily, Mint. It's me, Ronald! Are you surprised, Mint? Actually, kinda not. <laughs> I tried to play it off as him killing Ronald, but you probably knew it was him. The moment you heard the music, and then you see Ronald's CRX deck, I thought it would be funny to say they killed him. <laughs> I've been using this disguise to spy on the area's activity. That's how we were getting emails from Ronald regarding the stuff and whatnot. Take these booster packs. Hopefully they'll help you beat Team GR. 
And I think that this is also the spy that they were talking about. Yeah, on both sides. <laughs> so, so Ronald is the spy of the game. Whoa, 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 hello there, new Articuno. As long as Articuno is your active Pokemon, they will not take damage. Your, your bench will not take damage. So it's kind of a bench protection dealio. I might want to slot that into my little watery water deck there. And you can cause some paralysis with that. But it's basically uh, something that protect things and kind of stall for things. It's not that bad because of that paralysis and anything like that. And I can also use... Double colorless with that bad boy. Ooh, 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 there it is. There it is. <laughs> um, this is this is kind of interesting here. See, it's it's labeled as a Game Boy card, but that's not entirely accurate. Uh, this card originally debuted in the Neo Genesis set, but it's it's kind of here. So it's kind of like cards from later sets in the Game Boy. But they're not labeled as the later sets, even when they are already out in later sets. They're just kind of labeled as Game Boy cards. It's kind of... I, I don't understand why they did that either. Or maybe they maybe to save card symbol uh, graphic memory or something like that on the right side. But anyway. <laughs> so basically, when it's discarded, in any which way, you can put it back in your hand. So that means if it's in your hand when you use Professor Oak, it goes back to your hand after Professor Oak dissolves. If it's on a Pokemon, when it gets knocked out and goes to the discard pile, it goes back to your hand. So this could be a handy little sinister serpent for your energy reserves. But remember, it only provides colorless energy, so you can't like completely rely on them. Unless I guess you're using a, an all-colorless stack, of which this would be a broken staple, but details! <laughs> um, uh, we got- oh, you should, we've seen that one before. Oh, this is Game Boy, Marowak, multiple bone hits. There's a randomly selected damage. 10, 20, or nothing! The 20 your opponent's bench Pokémon chose that random, then switch that Pokémon! <laughs> so, it, it kind of makes... The bench Pokémon, whichever it turns out to be, the active Pokémon, and it switches in with damage. But the trick to that is, since you can't directly attack the active Pokémon with the multiple bone hits, well, you're just gonna kinda be flailing your bone at the wind. <laughs> Uh, regular old Bulbasaur, not the S deck. Well, I should say intro deck of Bulbasaur. Um, yes, 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 does Leechy a little bit of healing, so it's not that bad for the stally stalls, but it requires two energy to do that, and it's only got 40 HP. Uh, there's the kind of risky Bill's Draw card. I'm, ah, uh, you may want to try it, because it can be better, more beneficial than regular Bill, but. I don't know. If you'd like, if you need cards, you might not be able to rely on this to get cards. You know, uh, there's a Super Scoops, uh, different version of Growlithe. Get the trainer cards. Show it to the opponent and put it into your hand. Wait, I th I think I showed this one too. So many cards. I remember what I showed. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, actually, just to be sure. And, yeah, the regular Ember, okay. Uh, Dark Persian can do the switcheroo, and can do the poisons. So it's kind of a attack whichever critter you want with this, but it's only got 60 HP, so use it at your own risk. And, oh, that's the multiple coin flip, but we're done! <laughs> oh, no, we're not done! <laughs> now, actually, we're probably not going to get that many new cards. Hello there, awesome version of Scyther there. So you can double your slash base damage and then attach a double colorless energy to surprise attack for 60 in just two turns. Or, you know, just kind of power it up with two energy cards with the swords dance beforehand and then do the 60. Or just keep attacking for 30 once it's fully powered up. And it's got a nice 70 HP, complete with resistance to fighting but weakness to fire. So that resistance could be a beneficial dealio. Brand new version of Ammonite. That is a kind of a freaky picture the way they draw this. <laughs> Um, the flip a coin of has all damage done that have evolved from a mysterious fossil will do additional 10. So this is probably a staple to the mysterious fossil decks IMO, because the fossils generally aren't that 
powerful overall, but they kind of like support each other like this. So it's just kind of like you gotta fill your stuff up with other stuff. And rolling tackle 20. <laughs> so that'll do 30, I guess you could say. Uh, search for any dark Pokemon. That's pretty handy searcher there for your dark decks. I'd say that's a staple for dark decks. Um, it's kind of a trade-off if you need something, perhaps, with matter exchange. And what? Oh, 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 I jumped the gun, Mind Shock. And yeah, okay, so I, oh, wait, I went over that one before too, dang it! Dang it. Uh, I went over those, another full heal energy, another potion energy, wow. Okay, I've got a lot of information about dueling Team GR for you. Members of Team GR utilize dark Pokemon in their decks. Uh, you, you, you kind of did that too. I, I, I think, but you didn't, I, I kind of beat you before, never mind. <laughs> they only fight challengers if the decks meet certain conditions. Moreover, some have added special dueling rules. Battle with the rules in mind and take advantage of their artifacts. So we're going to be having special rules exclusive to the Game Boy games coming up soon enough. Oh yeah! <laughs> Otherwise you may find it hard to win. Anyway, I'll see you around. I gotta keep up with my spy work. Good luck, Mint. Alright, you... <laughs> You do that, I'll head on off and do some more battling. Thanks for visiting. This is Team GR's Grass Fortress. Allow me to tell you about your opponents and explain the rules. The leader of the Grass Fortress is a man named Parkner. Because, you know, Park, Grass. In order to fight him, you must first defeat three GR Fortress members! You'll learn about each member's special battle rules inside. That is all. Please enjoy dueling in Team GR's Grass Fortress. Thank you, thank you. Man, you could do Team GR... Team GR members are friendly, and it appears as if we have <laughs> we have a certain visitor here of the random variety. We'll, we'll go talk to him in just a second. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I came to meet my friend Melissa. Oh, aren't you Mint? I heard you're a real card whiz. Well, I can't duel you right now. Please excuse me. Okay. GIRL! <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of them just not named, just just a girl. Can't believe what they- like, old man here. I can't believe what they do on that nearby island. I heard that they just protect some kind of legendary cards on it. What a waste. If I had cards like that, I'd put them in my deck. I think we're getting an idea of what the GR peeps here are, uh, are kind of thinking here. I'm Dan, a Team GR. Strong, capable, and, uh, eh? Or a face I haven't seen before. I wonder if you have what I want. Looking for a certain card? <laughs> dark Venusaur. I don't have any Dark Venusaurs. Uh, this Venusaur level 67 that, with a new illustration. Whoa! So it's like the energy transfer Venusaur with a special uh, picture for that and whatnot. It's like a promo dealio for your collector's sake, but I have nothing. Dear <laughs> Trace. Eh, I guess I can't blame you. It is a pretty rare card. Uh, and then these are the usual trade desks. That's the usual computer. All right, so <laughs> before we before we talk to that mysterious guy who caused some really distorted music, let's go ahead and write in our diary and also switch to our regular old yup 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 decker here, nature deck, select deck, and let's go, huh? How may I help you? Wait a second. With a question mark. Uh <laughs> Yeah, if you don't if you can't tell by the music, it's his theme song, but more distorted. <laughs> uh oh, who am I you ask? Uh don't you know me? It's his I, a super musical star Imakuni! What you say Imakuni wears black? No way! Don't you know anything? I'm the one and only Imakuni, and you can clearly see I wear red! You're saying you see a black version of me? Preposterous! I'm red! Don't try to dispute the facts! What? Would I like to play some cards with you? Sure thing, kid! I'm just itching to catch them all! Would you like to duel red Imakuni? <laughs> so there's more than one of them?! <laughs> or is it the same and it... I, I don't know! Well, let's say no. What? Now you don't want to play? Why not? I'm just getting primed and ready to catch them all! <laughs> Jeez, it's certainly boring here. It's not easy being red. Okay, okay. Oh, no, wait! Uh, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, that was new dialogue, wasn't that? 
Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm ready. You may, I'm, yeah, I'm ready. The cootie. The red roof just started off. <laughs> oh, I remember you. What do you want? Did you come to watch me dance, or are you after an autograph? Eh, it's not like that at all. You just want to play cards? Alrighty, I'm gonna catch them all. Alright, here we go. Six prize cards. Ah, oh, like short duels. Look at that picture. <laughs> Strange plants deck. Let's go! <laughs> so, yeah, this is a, it appears to be a, I don't know. Is, it, is this the same enemy to Akuni? Is this another one? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I've only got really something I can attack with water. So, I'll plop out my fish, I'll plop out my sore, I'll plop out my bug, and six prize cards is a go. Let's see if we can win this game. Drowsy is out. Long distance hypnosis can possibly... Zoo. That's not good. Might not be able to fish it up. <laughs> well, it all depends if I come out of my my sleep coma here, so we'll see how things turn out. Oh, I was, I was actually expecting you to attack with Drowsy. Well, I can't attack at the fish anyway, but yeah, the drowsy is... Oh wait, the... oh that's right, it's that version of... Yeah, it's not the pound drowsy. I'm confusing cards, dang it! <laughs> um, well since I can't really do things, and he's not attaching energy cards anyway, so I might as well just see if uh, things turn out fine in the next turn. <laughs> Annie Makuni! You're active Pokemon of the power! The power! It's too powerful, I can't stand up to such a card! <laughs> uh, the sleepies is a still affecting... I got all these power stuff up in the meantime. Actually, I was thinking about Bulbasaur, and I could actually water energy for tackle, but... I don't know if I want to do that. Like... Because... It, yeah, it still requires two leafies, leafies. So maybe I'll just do some future planning here, and think that I'm gonna get a uh, star me in the future, maybe. <laughs> maybe, we'll see. And the slow poke begins uh, the slow broing. And if if possible, he got the, well, yeah, not just possible, it happened, and he got the <laughs> slow bro to get those critters, and okay, now I got some poop. We got some poop here, and we are going to just end our turn, though. <laughs> and yeah, I could attack at the fish, but I'm kind of... I'm, I'm in good position here, let's put it that way, you know? Alright, so I'm gonna do that, and now I guess I'll attack at the fish, because I think... Because, yeah, I don't really have the grass for the fluffy... For the fluffy sore, I should say. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not fluffy. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just messing around here. Right, let's just go ahead and do a tackle. Left flail won't do anything, by the way, so do not select it. It can only do damage equal to the number of damage counters Magikarp has. And yeah, it looks like he's doing a similar thing to what I'm doing. Is I just powering up the. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure why he's putting so many energy cards on Dark's Dark Slowbro there. Um, like, no, it only requires two for the. <laughs> Imakumini is a mysterious player. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Oh, let's tackle, let's keep on tackling that drowsy into oblivion, and maybe we'll be able to pull off a win on this incredibly difficult opponent. Because computer error, you can, you can draw up the five cards, and then he, I may draw up the five cards, but the turn ends instantly! I would absolutely like to draw five cards, though! <laughs> But yeah, that kind of puts the user at a uh, disadvantage in a way, because you can't attack, but not that he was going to attack anyway, but... You know, the thing about it is... It, it puts me into more of an advantage at, in this particular situation, because I'm able to kind of... Kind of get a lot of stuff going on here, or, and he doesn't get any sort of extra setup after using that card. But I got a whole... a whole handful of, of cards going on here. Um, I'm gonna actually just let him switch into 
whatever he wants to switch in after and just let him knock out Magikarp, I think, because then I'll switch in... Oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! You had a plan all along! So I shuffle my hand into the deck and then draw seven cards. <laughs> I mean, it's still a decent amount of cards in my hand, but maybe that was his plan to combine with computer error? Perhaps! Maybe! But that took two, 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 two turns to set up. Oh, I got... I got more cards! <laughs> How did that work out for him? Yeah, that, that combo is not really that disruptive as a result of that. And hello, I got... I got Ivy sort of boot now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm still gonna focus on that free switch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm not. Like, what am I gonna energy remove? Am I gonna do it on that? Am I gonna do it on that? That is. I mean, maybe I could. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll save the energy removal for now. Jeez. <laughs> oh, this is one heck of an opponent. I've gotta say. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, power up our fish of a larger variety. Why didn't I build before? I don't know. Uh, seeking Gyarados. Oh, maybe I should, uh... Oh, now I'm... Now I'm really tempted to keep that Magikarp around. Uh, <laughs> uh, so let's go over to Staryu and... Whoops, no, no. Staryu and Slap. There you go. So instead of knocking it out, with the fish, I went with the starfish. <laughs> and he's gonna go for the potential knockout. But I just wanted to knock out the, yeah, and then get a free switch over to, uh, oh, And then get a free switch over to, um, Ivysaur. Because it's got kind of a, got kind of an interesting dealio matchup here with Slowbro. See, it's, oh, I thought it was, wow, I thought this was weak against grass, unless I'm thinking of another, hmm. Well, that was bad planning on my part, then. Well, <laughs> we'll see how things go. Um, well, let's go ahead and prepare the fish. And turn it into a dragon. Well, it's sort of a dragon. It's a water flying type, but it's based off a dragon. Uh, oh, I got two Professor Oaks. Okay, let's, I guess I should probably get stuff set up here. Let's play another one of those. Let's go ahead and suck the energy out of this side, Duck. Um, oh, that's right. You know what? Let's just attack. Uh, yeah, let's find what. He, he can't knock out Ivysaur with uh, Slowbro, even if the attack works anyway, so. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it won't go. Oh, man. Well, I can always just use a Leech Seed to suck all those energy cards off them, but. You know, it's still oh man, the situation. Regardless, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I just want to dump out my hand here as best I can because I'm gonna use Professor Oak now to get the most out of our hand. And you know, as soon as I get all my stuff powered up the way that I want them. Oh no, I don't have any. Where's my other water energy? <laughs> well, well. In any case, Leech Seed. I was hoping to get the big fish of Gyarados flopped out of there, but that appears it's not going to happen anytime soon unless I get two more waters. But yeah, um, we're just kind of we're just kind of waiting for stuff. Well, I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> just get seven cards out of it anyway. Just, yeah, <laughs> I suppose the way that he did it before, he left me with maybe less cards. You know? Well, wait, no, I. No, because he had the... He kind of refilled my hand with computer error. And then, yeah, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm trying to understand how he, uh, what, what kind of play he did there. But this is Imakuni, so maybe there's... Maybe there's nothing to think about here. <laughs> anyway, I should probably go ahead and leech seed again, just to kind of... Recover that 10 damage that I took because he can't really do much more than that in, at the moment in time. At least it's looking like it, so let's go ahead and kind of, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Leech Seed kind of puts him in an awkward spot, as you can see. Uh, different. Oh, shoot. That's right. Uh, wait, actual oh, Pokemon Trader. Right, right. I can go ahead and grab whichever critter that I want. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have Starmie yet. I, I kept saying I have Starmie, but no, I don't have that. I was using Starmie in that 
Um, the, the, the deck with, with Aaron, the tech guy, with the, the tutorial duels. So yeah, I was gonna go and get a Starmie. Uh, it looks like my best bet here is the Venusaur. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go plop that on there, and uh, Venusaur it up, and I can also transfer energies around now, but that's not my current interest, because I already got enough energy on Venusaur, and the other ones are powered up how I prefer. I'm just going for the Solar Beam, basically, plus the extra HP. Uh, Mr. Mime of this variety has Invisible Wall. It, if, it, if an attack does 30 or more damage, it'll be completely prevented. So that's kind of an issue to deal with here. <laughs> but I have my plan. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't have any plans. <laughs> I don't know. I keep messing stuff up like that. Um, actually, I do have plans. I'm just going to retreat to Ivy. So it only takes two energy cards. And remember, I can energy transfer anything that I want now. So let's go ahead and Leech Seed. And this puts Mr. Mime in an awkward spot in on itself. Because even if it does damage to me with Mr. Mime, it's only going to do 10 damage uh, because of the Meditate. See this? It does 10 damage, 10 additional damage for each damage counter. So it's going to start with 10 and then it keep increasing. But I'm going to keep healing with the Leech Seed. And yeah, now I, I put Imakuni in kind of an awkward spot because while he has this son of Mr. Mime, if he switches to anything else. I'm going to Venusaur Solar Beam it, and then when he switches back to Mr. Mime, I'm going to retreat back over to Ivysaur for the Leech Seed, and then energy, because I'm, I could just energy transfer back over to that Ivysaur. See what I did there? <laughs> so yeah, let's just finish off this game with a victory, shall we? Yeah, I did kind of a, kind of a sneaky setup versus his setup. <laughs> So he's got the side up. I'm gonna place that Meowth. Hanging out, and he get dizzy. That's, that's what I was trying to prevent them from doing with the energy removal, but he's got so much psychic energy that it's not really a issue or anything like that. So let's go ahead and put that on Venusaur. Two energy cards to retreat, but big whoop. Pokemon power, energy transfer. Venonat goes to Venusaur. <laughs> uh, you also use Bill the draw two cards to boot. Uh, oh yeah, Venomoth. Plop that on there as well. And let's Solar Beam. <laughs> so, inevitably, he's gonna put out Mr. Mime, because it's his best line of defense. There it is. And then I'm just gonna switch over to Ivysaur again, and then it's game over. <laughs> because, yeah. Yeah, you can see how this is going. Boink, boink. Ivysaur, Pokemon Power. Energy trans- oops, energy transfer, I say. Boink, 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 and that's the power of energy transfer. I've also got Gyarados flopped out and waiting in the wings there, but I don't think we're even gonna need the big fish, although Imakuni looks very confident about this digger. Maybe? Oh. Well, he can't even do damage to me. <laughs> well... Well, that's what we call a game over. That's actually for the fun of it, place another energy card on there, and just go ahead with the Leech Seed. Nah, I'm not gonna find left. I just psyched you out there. <laughs> and victory is mine. I was not expecting to battle Imakuni this part, but I welcome it. So, yeah, I was expecting to battle the uh, GR Grass Fort members. I wanna take you out and put you on the clearance rack. Hey, hey, I, lo I, lo I lost? Oh, well, take this then. Let's <laughs> put you on clearance rack. Oh, jeez. Victory Bell, you can swappy swap. And you can also not prevent, I mean, prevent the retreaty retreaties as well. So you could put the opponent in a difficult spot with Victory Bell. So it's not too bad. I seen, I think, this version. Wait, maybe you didn't see this version of War Toil. You seen the original version. And prevent all effects of damage, you can stall and bites for 40. So you can stall and while powering up the bite, so it's not that bad, especially with 70 HP, because 70 is just outside that 30 threshold a lot of things can do. Um, you know that poison possible chance, reasonably, yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, we're good. Lost Isle booster pack. Let's see what we get. Gold. Uh, it's got a psychics. Oh, I think I showed this one too. <laughs> and wave splash. Uh huh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did I? Yeah, you got that can do paralysis, and it can do ten additional damage with stump. New version of uh, the Magmar here, and it has low HP. It's like a the glass cannon version. I think I mentioned that this one existed, but I didn't actually use it. <laughs> Fifty HP. Uh, that that uh, kicking and stomping. It may do ten plus ten. I mean twenty plus ten more. And if not, it just does twenty. But but. It may do a switchy switch, which could be useful, useful to offset, offset the opponent. Uh, Bubble can do the paralysis kind of handy, and also the same as War Turtle. We were just like using um, Squirtle and War Turtle from the intro deck, so yeah, those are kind of different than the ones that you're probably accustomed to uh, thus far in the game. But they're, but those are base set. Uh, ones that you're probably accustomed to in the regular uh, r expansion packs that we've seen outside of Japan, so... <laughs> anyway, it's just details! Details I am rambling. And you can call for family with that, and we're good! When you see me next, I'll be even redder than I am now! <laughs> I'm off to continue my vacation! I just love traveling. See you! And Imakuni is off. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save that. We could always battle him again if, you know, assuming the RNG puts him in a place in, a, in a, one of the forts that we're at, we have an access to. But anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I actually begin covering the GR Grass Fort, because this was kind of like a optional battle more than anything.